This is going to be a nice and short video about shadows in Xamarin Forms apps. Let's go check it out. Now, before we dive into the technical details here, you can see the end result. So here at the top, you can see this, this header label already has a nice yellow kind of shadow going on. It's almost glowing like neon things. Um, here at the, the label just beneath it, we have a little red um, shadow going on, which has a little offset to the X and the Y. And here, I don't even know if you can see it on the screen. Um, you can see a little green shadow going on, which has, um, the, we, we applied the radius to it, so it's a little bit more round than the other things. Um, let's just go check out how to implement all this goodness. So let's hop over to Visual Studio. You can see here Visual Studio for Mac 2019. Um, on the left, you can just see a XAML page of a file new Xamarin Forms project. Um, on the right, you can see it running on the iOS simulator right now. I'm doing this on a Mac, but you can also do this on Windows. You can also do this with Android. So that is all good. Now, one thing that I already did for this project is install the Xamarin Community Toolkit NuGet package. Um, at the time of recording, version 1.1 is out. That is also the version that has this shadow effect so make sure that you have at least version 1.1 installed. Um, now, whenever you do that and you're using XAML, you can also do this from code, of course, if that's what you want. But whenever you're using XAML, you can implement here on the top the XML namespace, and I'm going to name it XCT. And whenever you say is, it will also come up with the IntelliSense and just search for toolkit. And you want to have this fancy looking URL here at the top, um, just implement that. And now you will have all the namespaces imported into your XAML. So that's very cool. Now the way this effect works, it's technically an effect, but the way this works is um, by an attached property. So if we take this label right here, this is the start developing now. So this is the one here at the top. Um, actually, before I go any further, um, let's do here, let's update the title shadow effect sample um, and save that. And with hot reload, it should update automatically. Actually, let's start with this label because this label can use some shadow too because the box view here, uh, the frame already has some shadow. So let's give this label a little shadow too. And what you can do is start typing here, just shadow effect dot, and you can already see all the properties here. So color, offset X, offset Y, the opacity and the radius. So that's all the things that you can play with. Um, and because this is an attached property, so an attached property is basically a property that you can attach to an element that doesn't actually have the property. So shadow effect is um, something that is not part of label, but we can attach it to the label and you can attach it to any visual element. So we can give any visual element a shadow with this, not just a frame, not just a box, view, but your labels, your um, entries, your all the things. Um, so if we look at this label and we say color, let's make it, um, I don't know, let's make it black. And whenever I just save this, I should be able well, it's I, I can imagine you can't really see it on your screen. Um, so let's make it red just to make it a little bit more clear red on blue. Well, that's that doesn't make it any clearer, actually. So let's see if we can do a little thing with the opacity. Um, set that to one. No, nope, doesn't really doesn't really bring it up. So this is not a great example. But trust me, the shadow is here yellow, you can already see it a little bit, I guess. Um, so here you can suddenly see a little shadow now. Oh, this is the opacity of the the label. Haha. <laughs> That's why that didn't work. Um, so let's make this the shadow effect opacity that should make it work a lot better. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit more clear. It's, it's yellow and it has this bright little shadow right here. Um, so what I've done now, I've set two properties on the shadow effect. Um, so the color, which is yellow and the opacity. So the opacity is always a range from zero to one. Um, and then in between you can do a zero dot three for 30% or 0 0.8 for 80%. Um, and I've set it now to full opacity to show you what's going on here. And you can see we have this um, shadow here at the top label. So let's just let's just keep it that way. And we're going to move on to the next label. So I'm just going to copy this for a little bit. And they start developing now. So that's the one here at the top. Um, let's copy this in here. And now we're going to make this red to, you know, really show what's going on here. Let's let's lose the opacity and let's see what we what we else got here. We've got the offset X. So you can play with the offset of the shadow. So the X is, of course, you know, the the horizontal axis. Um, so let's see whenever we do that, if I set it to something crazy, like 100, you will see that it's totally out of 
um, out of the label. So that's that's weird, right? So that's probably not what you want. Uh, but you might want to set the offset a little bit like depending on where your light is for the shadow, that it goes a little bit to the right or to the left or to the whatever. Um, so whenever we set this to five, it should have a little shift to the right. You can see it here at the S, it's, it's barely in there. Um, now, if we do the same for like the um, Y, um, we can do that too. So for the Y, again, if I set this to something crazy like 100, you can see it's all the way down there, um, which is which is probably not what you want. Uh, but if I already also set this to five, then it's it's a little bit like the, the light is coming from um, the top left here, and you can see the shadow is a little bit pushed down to there. Um, so that is what you can do. Now you can also set the radius, and that's kind of like the, the radius of the whole thing. Um, so let's actually move to the next one again, just so I have a couple of labels that um, do um, different things. So let's set this to green, just so we have all the pretty colors in here. Um, no more offset, and let's make this the radius. So opacity I already did, but let's make this a radius. So let's make it a, a, a very weird radius. 100 doesn't work. Okay, let's make it 10, see if that does something. Um, so 100 is apparently too much, 20. So you can see it kind of, you know, more blurs together or more cuts out like the same thing with uh, for, for all the text. Um, so that is something that you can, can play with as well. Uh, maybe it helps if I set the opacity again to one here that you can see it a little bit better. And that is how you can apply shadows to virtually anything. So um, let us know how it goes. If you need any more options, maybe is gradients in shadows a thing yet? Well, let us know on the repository aka.ms slash xct. Um, I hope this will get you started with the shadows. In this video, we've learned how easy it is to apply shadows to everything in your Xamarin Forms application by using the xct, the Xamarin Community Toolkit. Just apply a couple of properties on every any visual element um, that can be uh, seen, that can be used, and you will have shadows to play with. So that is pretty cool, right? Um, if you've liked this video, please click that tiny like button. It's down there. I assure you, please click it. And if you are new to this channel, then hey, welcome. How nice of you to join here. Um, if you've liked what you're seeing here and you want to see more, please click that subscribe button, ding that little bell to be notified of new content automatically. Maybe you want to consider joining this channel as a member, click that little join button. And for a small price, you can support me with all the stuff that I'm doing here. Thank you. And with that, I can only say, I will see you for the next video and keep coding.